I'm out here at Whittier Narrows Recreation Center uh, for National Boogie Van Day, and I brought my uh, 1983 Dodge Boogie Van, and uh, there's lots of cool vans here to check out. Everybody's kind of just hanging out in this uh, park parking lot, and uh, we got some more stuff coming up. We've got more events opening up here in SoCal. There's actually next week's the uh, McCormick Auction again in Palm Springs, so I'm planning to shoot that, and uh, that video hopefully will be up early next week or maybe the next weekend. But uh, for now, we're here to check out some vans, so let's go. So as I said, I've got my uh, 83 Dodge uh, van here. And if you want to see a video on this, uh, I'll put the little link up at the top there and you'll be able to see it. I've got a whole video on this van uh, on my YouTube page. And I don't think I shot it that long ago. And uh, if you don't know, we actually did the Lemons Rally back in 2018 in this. So I've actually owned this van almost three years. <laughs> Uh, so you can see it's a pretty good crowd here. Got got a decent selection of vans. Lots of interesting stuff. Check out this uh, four-wheel drive uh, lifted Dodge. And we got a few uh, Volkswagen uh, transporters that showed up. It's a neat early uh, GMC van. I'm gonna have to cut off because there's some uh, music in the background, so I'm gonna have to stop it. All right, there's some more vans rolling in. I'm gonna try to talk over the music in the background so uh, the copyright people on YouTube don't get angry with me. I actually came to this event last year. It was in a slightly different spot on the other side of the freeway, and uh, they got a good turnout for that one too. And uh, today the weather is much nicer than it was last year. Last year it was a little like overcast. Today it's kind of like in the mid 70s as uh, Texas is freezing. We're getting mid 70s temperatures here in uh, California. And uh, let's check this guy out. Down for whatever. One tip, if you ever go to a car show and you know there's guys going to do YouTube videos, turn your music off because... Uh, we can't shoot that stuff without YouTube getting nasty with us because if we can get copyright strikes, we can actually lose our accounts. That's why I have to shut the music off wherever there's uh, music being played. All right, so we're continuing on. I'm going to try to talk over the music so it doesn't get copyrighted, but uh, this cool Ford's got a uh, vintage Honda Trail 70 stash in the back. This is kind of what I wanted to do with my... Uh, second gen Econoline because uh, I've got like vintage Vespas and stuff still from when I had my shop and when I used to do a lot of the vintage Vespa stuff. Here's a cool, uh, another cool transporter panel. So I may have to edit out the audio on this. Little Volkswagen pop top. Older paint job on a uh, Another transporter panel with a little uh, board there. And we got an Astro van. These are actually getting kind of popular now. Little A100. So it's a quadra van. It's a four-wheel drive, uh, four-wheel drive second-gen Econoline. Check out that shag. It's just shag everywhere. I got to do the interior on mine, so pretty soon. So. <laughs> More ideas for the interior if I ever get to it. Of course, I've got projects galore in my driveway right now. If you watch any of my other videos, you know how many damn projects I have. It's a bit much. All right, I come around here. There's the octopus's garden. This guy's very active. He goes to like pretty much every van show in SoCal. 
It's that yellow second gen that looks a lot like mine. It's a neat little early Chevy uh, window van. It's got the uh, gold leaf on this. And it's got the uh, pinstriping. Well, I've got the hardwood flooring. A place for a table. It's a real neat surf van. It's got the pinstriping throughout. Continuing on, we got another uh, Dodge van. It's very blue inside. All right, coming over here. You like furry interiors? Here you go. This one's like full O shag. Nothing but shag in this van. The mirrored ceiling. Connor line. It's like he patched up a uh, window that was in the side. You see these a lot where they have the windows cut in the side and then of course people prefer them all paneled out and then maybe with the little quarter window in this in the in the corner. So I can imagine it's kind of difficult to patch them up once they're cut but uh, some people do it. It's worth it. It's an older uh, custom. Look at the older uh, striping there. The side pipes. Some Mercedes. <laughs> it's another Astro van. Third gen Econoline. This guy gets around a lot of the uh, local van, van events as well. Blazer. I guess he left his van at home. Kind of like an 80 Chevy. It's a neat uh, Japanese import. I think it's got the uh, right hand drive. It's a super custom four wheel drive. Toyota Heist. Nice thing about Vannon is, I mean, you can get into just about anything. This one's got a little bit of rust. 
I mean, you can pick up a van in just about any condition, show up at one of these meets, and you're still welcome. It's not pretentious or anything. You can you can kind of do your own thing and uh, still kind of pick these things up for a decent price. And it's a whole lot of fun. Plus, you can haul stuff with them, too. He's kind of parked off doing his own thing. This is one of those, uh, it looks like a sportsmobile conversion. Or maybe not, I mean, it's just a four wheel drive van. This one's like, uh, it's got the rack on the top. It's all ready to go. So we can get you in the back, show you what's going on. So he's got all the storage compartments. Some more vans are rolling in. And a Honda. I think he's lost. Got this uh, mid, mid 50s uh, Chevy pickup truck. Neat Dodge. Pretty clean early Chevy. And that's kind of how it used to be. A nice interior on that one. So a pretty Dodge. So I'm saying, this is actually a uh, funeral van used as a hearse. I believe you said it was used as a hearse back in Pennsylvania. Hello. Complete with the full skeleton and a casket. Get the uh, bars on it. The old Volkswagen camper with the high roof. These have gotten expensive. Really expensive. the motorhead van and we got a mini trucker coming through
Okay, and we're back to my van. Okay, that's gonna wrap things up here at National Boogie Van Day at the uh, Whittier Narrows Recreation Center for 2021. Hopefully there's gonna be a lot more events coming up like this so I can go out and shoot and share it with you guys. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, tell me what your favorite van was, and until next time, I'll be seeing ya.